Okay, let's start talking about the different functions in this menu. <clears throat> so the stitch type uh, selection basically is where you turn everything into the different embroidered objects that you would want. So in this case, um, we have just simply set this to quad. Um, I need to correct myself that actually quad goes all the way down and all the way back. Um, I wasn't correct about that. The triple stitch is the only one that advances going forward. Um, and single advances going forward, obviously. Uh, so that was a mistake. Sorry about that. Um, so as drawn single, basically what this does is it only draws the points that you laid down. Now this has got curves in it. You wouldn't necessarily use this as drawn single, single for curves. Uh, you would use this for when you want to turn things into when you um, import um, a PS file. It will all be drawn as these individual points because all we have is the stitch stitches that come in. We don't have actually the controlling objects of curves and lines and things. Uh, so it would be as drawn single just draws it as the points are and it's just like the other menu where you have double, you have triple, you have quad. Now in this case this is where um, this function called add stitches align becomes useful because right now these are very long lines if we turn this function on, it's going to add stitch points between these long lines. Um, this becomes important for lettering because lettering is actually an as drawn type of function. Um, so lettering is automatically turned on. Um, so, so these functions uh, are as drawn and it will add stitches if you have this turned on. In general, we don't want to add stitches to lines because it puts unnecessary stitches in. Um, so we're not going to normally do that except for this case where we do as drawn stitch types. So I've already gone through the single, double, triple, quad, chain, um, just puts a chain stitch along the line. You notice that it curves around the line. So if we modify this, you'll notice that it curves around with the line. And then these other ones, a hand stitch is kind of like a bean stitch, sort of. It's got some width here, and it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then we have a wide stitch, which just kind of fills in the whole thing. And those are the basic stitch other types, in addition to the single, double, triple, quad. I might expand these. Uh, these were originally done when the program was originally designed. I don't actually use them that much. Um, so there might be some expansion here in the future. Fill fills the object with a fill, as you can see. And then we have fill pattern. That's something when we want to create a pattern um, for a fill. We'll discuss that in a future subject. Construction. Construction is just that. It creates a construction line. It won't be stitched out. You can use construction lines to use these points as let's say um, anchor points for other objects. So if I wanted to anchor, let's say, this V object to this construction line, I could do that by actually, um, let's say we line the points. I want to line this point up to that point. You'll notice that it goes and it anchors down to the um, construction line. Construction lines, once they're selected, you cannot modify them. Well, I didn't tell the truth on that one because I'm modifying this construction line. Uh, so I got to fix that. Oops. Anyway, um, forget about that. Um, construction lines in general are supposed to not be editable um, unless you turn them back to a stitch object. So that, uh, that will have to be fixed. Uh, stitch pattern is um, another advanced subject we'll talk about later. Um, and then we have satin, which basically puts uh, satin lines. Now you notice now that we have more control points. These control points right now are not changeable at this point. Um, they're automatic, so um, they will just move on their own. You notice they move on their own. Um, we can make them editable, which actually becomes very powerful by changing some of the functions. Now you notice when we change different types here, we get different 
menu options. You notice that there's options here for fill, um, different options for fill. If we change this to satin, we have different options that show up for satin. So basically what I'm trying to explain here is that a graphic will become any kind of embroidered object you want um, just by basically choosing these different types. Cut work is a cut work pattern which basically um, I have a little video explaining cut work but basically uh, you use cutting needles and in this case there's two needles that cut this object out. If you have four cut work needles, there's now four, and the colors represent which needles are used in what part of the graphic. I have a separate video on cut work that's pretty self-explanatory, explaining how those work. So that's basically it for choosing the different functions. I'm going to go into greater detail about the fill and the satin in another video.